Hey, good morning, folks. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa with your morning M Live weather update. Two things to talk about. Well, three things. Today's weather, uh, the weekend wetness, and I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a big surge toward warmer weather. I've been seeing this all along, a pattern that if it emerges in the last few days of May and is a sign of what summer looks like, summer is very warm to hot in Michigan. So we'll get to that in just a moment, but first we got to cover the rain. My advice to you is if you're ready to till your garden and the soil is ready, you better get it done, not wait for the weekend. I talked to the delivery man yesterday and he was asking me about Saturday. I said, I said, no, if it's ready right now, you got to change your schedule and do it. So Let's get to it and show you what's going on here. Um, concert tomorrow night in Columbus. Will I get wet tomorrow night? Probably. Okay, so here's the first batch of showers and thunderstorms. Let's go to the radar forecast and track that along. Remember, precipitation usually dissipates unless it's very strong uh, it dip dissipates during the late morning and early afternoon and then flares back up. So we're at 1 o'clock this afternoon, and that's what we see happening is some showers around, but cut in intensity from the, right now, the radar I just showed you. Uh, and then as we go into the late afternoon, we're at 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. So notice... Ann Arbor, Detroit, uh, Jackson, Flint, Saginaw Bay City, the Thumb, you're going to stay dry all day. And Grand Rapids, maybe some showers by late afternoon. And then we go into this evening. This model wants to develop a line of thunderstorms in the late evening hours and then push it south. That might be a little aggressive, but uh, it's possible. Uh, and then someone's asking about severe storms. I don't think it would happen tonight. It's not just the pattern for severe weather. You can't ever rule it out, but it's not the pattern. But by Sunday, that's the possibility. Uh, let's, let's check one thing here real quick. I have not thought about it for today. Let's check and see what uh, Storm Prediction Center is saying. Okay, they're, they're saying... Uh, they put, hmm, that's kind of an odd. Well, this this is an odd pattern for today into tonight. I don't really get that. Uh, so I don't think we're going to deal with a lot of severe weather today, but we'll watch it for Sunday. So here's your overall pattern. What's happening is weather system moving through tonight, and then the storm that dominates our weekend weather developing out here. And it sends a warm front our way, which typically sets off periods of showers and thunderstorms. And then as we go into Sunday morning, the storm's still off to the west, getting some of southern Michigan into the warm sector of the storm. But also, by Sunday night, finally coming through the area. And that's why we've got two days of off and on showers and thunderstorms. Now look at the next storm. The next storm is going to pull up farther to the west, and that will be a warm storm too. That's about Wednesday of next week. So the stormy pattern continues, but each storm pulling up farther to the west means we're going to get warmer and warmer on this. And total rainfall through the weekend. It's going to be a wet one, but in the southeast, you might be surprised that you might not get a whole lot. Detroit, Ann Arbor, Jackson, maybe a few tenths of an inch. And then as you go into the northern half of lower Michigan, probably looking at at least a half inch to maybe an inch, maybe in a thunderstorm, a little more than that. All right, now what I want to show you is a 6 to 10 day forecast, 8 to 14 day forecast with the pattern change showing up toward the last few days of May. Warmer than normal conditions expected on the 6 to 10 day forecast. 8 to 14 day forecast, warmer than normal conditions expected. And look at this pattern. What this signifies is a trough in the west, a ridge in the east. And that is for, uh, bear, bear 
with me here a second. That is from May 23rd to May 29th. And if this kind of pattern is what we have for the summer, that means this will build and we will have ourselves a hot, humid summer. And we would also be in the southwesterly flow, so we would have plenty of rainfall too. So it's uh, going to get interesting here because I think in the next 10 days, we'll be getting a good look at what maybe the early part of summer has. And right now, I'm hinting toward it looks warmer than, than normal and not colder than normal. So there you have it. We have showers and thunderstorms moving from north to south during the day today. But in the southern part of lower Michigan, you get a good day. That blows through tonight. We're dry tomorrow. And then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we turn showery with thunderstorms. Here's your update. Pretty simple. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have yourself a great Thursday.